Okay, so once you figure out how many channels of lights you want to control, and you got all your outlets together, let me show you how to wire them up. Now this is four outlets. Now you would think you would only control four separate light strands with these. No, you're going to control eight. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a really simple process. On each one of these, you have a gold side and you have a silver side or a brass and silver or wherever you want to look at it. Now if you look on the back, it tells you this is your white wire. This is your hot wire. Your hot wire is your power wire and your white wire is what they call a common common common. If you look here on this side, there's a tab connecting these two terminals. What you're gonna do is take your pair of needle nose pliers, grab hold of that tab, and get a good grip on it and take your receptacle and just wheel it back and forth. A couple seconds later, that little tab comes off. Now, once you do that, now you're gonna have, instead of one hot wire coming in here, you're gonna have two. Usually if you're wiring these house up in your house and you have more outlets, you would go black wire from your power, uh, panel box, then another black wire here to the other receptacle and just daisy chain. Well, now that we got this separated, now we have, we're gonna put power in one side, the top side, bottom side. So each one is separate. And we'll be able to control each one separately. So now instead of having four, we're gonna have eight. Now I'm gonna continue on doing this and I'll get brought back with you. Okay, so now that I have all the gold little straps here taken off, I'm gonna set these aside for a second here. We're gonna get onto the wiring. Now, uh, most of your common household wiring that you typically wire your house up with is a 12 three wire, it's 12 gauge wire. That's actually, excuse me, it's 12 two wire with a ground. Two wires, two, a black and a white and a ground, 12 two with ground. I'm going with 14 gauge wire, two reasons. These relay boards, this is where your wiring is gonna come in and out of, like so. These little connectors here, these little spots the wire goes in, whatever you wanna call them, they do not take 12 gauge wire. It is too big to go inside of here. Found that out the hard way. Secondly, if you were just using 12 gauge wire, your standard wire, you could just make your loop, put them in here, tighten them down, so on and so forth. If it's time consuming, they can slip, it's a pain in the butt. So I'll start looking. And these holes right here correspond to where these terminals are. You can use a 14 gauge solid wire inside of these holes here. Once you push them in, there's teeth in there that lock hold the wire. It doesn't come out on its own. You can get it out, but it doesn't come out on its own. So that was a win-win for me. So what I went to do, instead of buying a roll of black, a roll of white, and a roll of ground wire, I just went and bought me a roll of 14-2 house wire. I think I got a 100-foot roll or a 50-foot roll, whatever you're going to need. You kind of got to figure that out. And then what I did is took the coating off of them and then separated each wire. So now I have three separate wires. Made it a little bit easier, saved me a little bit of money, cost me a little bit of time, a little bit less headaches. Now, I'm gonna go over what size wire you need for to wire up. Now these wires just to wire up these four outlets. You're gonna need more for more outlets, obviously. What you're gonna need is on your black wire here, four of these. These are about four inches long. I have an L shape bent into them. You'll see why later on. This right here is about a quarter inch, maybe five sixteenths, and then it's stripped off. Then you have your L and it comes up to about a half inch. You can always have more because you can take it off, but if you're short, you can cut it off. So same thing with these. I have four of these. Now these are a little bit longer. These are four inches, same setup. Got the little L, got about five sixteenths, quarter inch cut off here, about a half inch right here. Now, I have four wires here that are six inches, I believe it is. Maybe seven inches. Measure them up. Yep, six inches. Now, if you look, two of these wires are stripped off on both ends, while two of these are not. 
This is a tip and trick that I learned. You'll see why I did this here in a little bit. They're both the same length, just one side stripped off. About six inches. And I got these. These are about five and a half inches. You can make them all the same length if you want to. It might save you some time. Doing this way kind of makes it a little bit neater, neater in the long run, but it's just, just something me being OCD a little bit about. Same way, you have about a quarter inch, five sixteenths of an inch stripped off on this end, and about a half inch on this end, where you also have two, they're just stripped off on this end. And I like to separate these out, because they both serve a little bit of different purpose. Okay, next thing you need is three of these, three white wires. They are about five inches long, bent them in half. Measured them up here with the back of my, my outlet here, figured out how much I needed. Got the wire cutters, stripped it off. Now, the bend in it serves two purposes. It helps you when you're twisting them to pull the coating off of so your fingers get hot and sweaty. The earth, you know, kind of saves you a little bit of time. And also, when uh, this wire is going to go in between outlets, so this little loop serves two purposes. Now, you're also going to need about two foot of your white wire this is more than i need but i'd rather have more in this situation than not have enough you'll see why later on like i said it's about two feet and then i'm going to need about 20 inches maybe 24 inches of the bare copper wire like i said just with the other white wire i would rather have a little bit too much than not enough So let's get started on wiring these up. First you're gonna do, you have a top. This is gonna be the top. This is gonna be the bottom. Like this, top, bottom. Okay, set it down. Now, my top outlet is going to get one of the wires that is stripped off on both ends. My longest one, because I'm gonna build it. This is gonna be my first outlet second outlet, third, fourth, okay? It's kind of important you kind of keep them together in line now. The short end is gonna go out or up, however you wanna look at it. Take the long end, it's gonna go in right here where this says hot wire. Push it in until it snaps in place. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but there you go. It's not coming out of there. It's in there, okay? Now the middle one, I'm gonna use a short one. All the ones on top are going to be the ones that are double stripped, okay? Same thing. Put it in there, give it a little tug, it's locked in. Make sure you're going on the hot wire side, the side of the brass. Brass screws that tell you hot wire. Same thing. Do a little bit of push, wiggle, it's in there. Now the outside wire here, it's gonna be the longer one with this double stripped. Long side in there, a little wiggle and push. Now, why did I use these double stripped wires on the top? When I put them for the box, when they come out of the box, I'm not gonna know which one is top and bottom because I'm actually gonna have these on the bottom. It's gonna differentiate, it's gonna tell me, okay, this one's on the bottom, that one's on the top. So I'm gonna do the same thing, this is the one that doesn't have the double stripped end. Push it in. Give it a little bit of wiggle sometimes, pop it in. It's kinda of tough sometimes, but that's a good thing. Now this is my other long wire. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the outside. Long wires help on the outside when you go to control the put relay boards, so the wire wire long wires will connect to your relays. You'll see why in a minute. Same thing here. Use two, two short wires, go in the middle. Okay. Now this box is going to be on uh, it's gonna be on the left side of my box. Yeah, left side of my control box. You also gotta remember, you're looking at it from the back, okay? 
when I put the board that these are going to sit in, this box is going to sit here, and there's going to be another box here, and another one here. This is going to be on this side of that box. Now, that long 24 inch wire that we have here, go ahead and strip it off real quick. It's going to need to go on the very last receptacle, closest to the middle. You'll see why in just a little bit. Okay. Same thing. I got it stripped off to how far I need it. And put it right here. And it says white wire. No problem. Give it a little bit of tug. It's in there. Now, once you got that in there, it's going to be flopping around. So be careful with that. Take our little arches here. This is the common wire. We're going to commonly connect all these outlets together. Do the same thing we did with the black. I know my hands are in the way, but I'll show you in a minute. Okay, there we go. Push it in, locks in place. Now that's on the top. The next one, I'm gonna go to the bottom. Now that's why we have the arch. Okay. Push that in. Go back, get another one, go to the top. Push it in and continue this process till you get to the end. Okay, so now we have all the white wires connected to each outlet. This is the common wire, and we have the long wire here that's gonna go out of the box, connect all the other boxes to it. Common wire, common. Just think they're all connected commonly. Now we're gonna work on the ground wire. I wish there was an easier way to do this, and there might be, but I have not found it yet, so you gotta bear with me. What you're gonna do is take your 24 inch length of your copper wire. Get your needle nose pliers. Gonna bend a little loop in it here. Just a little, okay? Uh, like so. It might be too, too tight, we'll figure it out. You're gonna work from this way towards your longer your very long white wire. What it's gonna do is now, when this come box and comes out of the box, all your grounds are gonna be connected. So you wanna work from here and connect all these green ground screws together and then your tag end is gonna be out like your long tag end of your white wire. This is where it gets tricky because they're all connected and they're all fighting with you. You just kinda, like I said, wish there was an easy way to do this. I haven't found it yet. I'm sure there is, but you get the picture. Make your loop, loop it over your green ground screw. One thing about this, if your hands are sweaty, it's a little bit, a little bit of a struggle. Okay, we got it hooked over there. And sometimes I'll take it and actually get my pliers, tighten that top loop up a little bit so it doesn't come out, okay. Take your screwdriver or a 5 16 socket, I believe that is. We'll work on that too. And you're going to tighten it down. Go ahead and snug it up. Make sure it ain't going anywhere. Now what you're going to do is come over, make a loop just like your white wire is. Make a loop. And once you get to the bottom of that loop, you're gonna go back towards you, I guess you'd say. You're gonna make another loop. And you're gonna hook it on that green ground screw. Same way you did here before, except now you have an in and out of that green ground screw, I guess you'd say. And I'll take my pliers here, tighten up this loop. A little bit of security measures on it. Do the same thing, tighten it up. You want to make sure that green, that screw catches the wire. Okay. You don't want that ground coming loose inside your box because then you have to take everything apart and fix it. Now I'm going to continue this process. Keep on going down here, down here. And when I get to the end, it's going to be a tag in. Let me finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, so I got the ground wire all connected. And like I said, this was about 20, 24 inches. I probably could have gone a little bit longer. I don't have a as much 
tag in here as I wanted to, I can extend it out further if I have to. Anyways, just a re quick recap. On the top, this is the top, so the top. Your top wires, you got a half inch or so stripped here and about a half uh, quarter or five sixteenths on top. All your top wires have your double stripped off, just a double insulation stripped off both sides. Your bottom ones don't. Like I said, you'll see why when we put them for the box, it makes it a lot easier. All your commons are connected. Your white wire goes from outlet to outlet to outlet to a long pigtail. Same thing with your ground. Goes from, goes from ground to ground to ground to ground to a long pigtail, shorter pigtail in this situation, but I'm, I'm gonna work with it. That connects you all your grounds together. Okay. All right, the next video, I'm gonna show you how I wire up or actually put on the relay board and how I get these outlets in there and we'll go from there.